This year, my wife and I celebrated our 10 year anniversary and final baby move by leaving our kids behind with their grandparents to travel to one of our favorite places in the world, Switzerland. Instead of sharing a Google Doc of our itinerary, I wanted to put together a travel series from all the footage that I shot during our trip. Like the old saying goes, it's better to show, not tell. I first got here today it was uh it was completely empty it didn't seem like it was operational uh so i was kind of confused on why um it just turns out that there wasn't anyone manning the booth um, and then you had to go upstairs so we go up the stairs and there's a ticketing kiosk right here that's uh self-manned all right, so this is where you buy the tickets. And uh, we were wondering, what time does this thing end service? 1.10 a.m. Not to be confused with Grindelwald, Gimmelwald is a small secluded village that sits at the edge of a cliff above Lauterbrunnen Valley. Same spot. It was a place that my wife and I visited back in 2016 based on high recommendations from Rick Steves. We were so blown away by the views in Gimmelwald that we knew that we had to return during this trip. I thought we had to transfer to get to here. I remember this, this park. Yes, I remember that too. You do? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Unfortunately, our visit this time wasn't the same. There were a lot more people, and in some areas, it was very noisy. On top of that, 
The cloudy weather conditions obscured some of the views that we were seeking. Look at all that frog yeah. Well, we didn't think this would happen. While the footage I shot on this trip isn't that spectacular, I thought I'd end this episode with clips from our 2016 trip. This was the Gimmelwald that we will always remember. <laughs>